gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tent in blue Balenciagas I call her out now I got blood on blue Balenciagas What it is YouTube, hope you guys are having a wonderful day um, today and while we're waiting on 2k it comes out tonight so you know we're hyped about that but the battlefield 5 open beta drop and i thought you know i said it uh months ago if you guys are new to the channel then you guys hadn't heard it yet but i told people that we were going to be playing red dead redemption uh, in battlefield 5 in fact uh red dead redemption 2 and battlefield 5 are the reason why i got my ps4 pro so i was like i was already on my ps4 pro you know i was playing some great thought i saw it dropped and i was like oh my gosh let me go try this out let me see it let me see what's good about it and Battlefield 5, I'm stunned, uh, the visuals, amazing, you know, they really, they really, I don't know, they really step up their game, and I don't know if this is just based on the fact that I'm using the PS4 Pro, or the fact that, um, you know, uh, the game is itself just really nice, because obviously, Frostbite, and, uh, or EA and Frostbite do their thing, you know, or DICE, DICE more rather, in, in frostbite do their thing when it comes to battlefield um so i really don't know if i'm gonna hop on the xbox later um and see how it plays see we'll see what it looks like and maybe make some graphical comparisons um but um i know that when it came to battlefield 4 uh, the drastic difference in xbox 360 and ps4 i mean xbox 360 and xbox one was crazy 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 so i don't know guys i'm not positive yet but what i do know is the fact that i think that this game has the potential to be the best battlefield since battlefield 4 and i skip over battlefield 1 based on the fact that I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I just didn't have that battlefield feeling. The maps were open and everything, but it just didn't feel like a good era. It kind of, everything being semi-automatic wasn't necessarily as fun for me, but that's just me, and I'm not taking away from the fact that the game was pretty fun when I first started playing it, and I played it for a good minute. In fact, I still have been playing it in preparation for Battlefield 5, so I'm not going to say that the game is terrible, but I think that this has the ability to be great. Now, they have a long way to go when it comes to certain issues, um, it is a beta, so I don't, I don't necessarily, I'm not going to harp on it too much, but it was very hard for me to get into a game, and that being said, I don't know if it was the amount of people that were playing at the time, or if it was the, um, just the servers in general, I'm not positive, but this new game mode that they have, uh, I think it's called Grand Operations, is what you guys are watching in the background right now, it is is awesome you guys can see i go off i think at the point of the end of this video i think i was 15 and 2 and this was like my first game on so this was crazy i'm actually really excited for the game really excited to del dive into more of the customization features in the game itself the actual full game but one of the coolest things to me in this game was the movement mechanics now they've already told us about this inside of game trailers that they already released this year so it was really awesome to get a first-hand experience on that. And I, what it makes me really excited for is the next Battlefield. And I know with you, what you guys are saying right now, you guys are probably like, what are you talking about? A new Battlefield? This one hasn't even come out yet. And I, like I'm telling you guys, the next Battlefield, they have pretty much no choice but to either go back to Vietnam, which I'm not, I don't think anybody would be upset about. I don't think, but uh, they either have to go back to Vietnam or make a more modern game, and that's what we really want. I know that, you know, then that's why I think the sales aren't what they want it to be. I really don't feel like it's the whole gender thing, um, which was talked about. I really feel like it's the, um, and in case you guys didn't know, a lot of people were saying, or a quite, a, quite a few people were saying, uh, I, I watched quite a few videos on it, where people were saying, um, that because of them adding females and because of them adding more African American characters uh, to the game, to the game's customization options, that that's why it wasn't revered as uh, historically accurate, and people were that's why the sales were dropping. Um, I don't feel that at all. I feel like the whole like going into the past thing is kind of played out, and people are just kind of bored of it. You know, because we had, you know, World War, uh, Call of Duty World War Two, and then we had Battlefield World War One, um, or Battlefield One. At the same time, they both came out, and you know, right next to each other, and it just wasn't, it wasn't a good feel. Um, but I really think that this World War Two is a really fun game. 
you know, in itself, like that, the, like like playing World War Two based games are really fun in itself. And I really feel like this is going to be a little bit different based on the fact that it, it does not play like any World War Two game you've played in the past. It definitely like lets you feel immersed in the game. I know I felt like really good about the gameplay in itself. Like I said, the option that you guys had to do a lot of different things, like the backpedaling uh, is what I'm calling it where you're able to and you'll see me test it out a couple of times where when you're backing up you're able to actually dive backwards or um, lay down backwards and that's a really big thing because you know you're walking into a room and then all of a sudden you're like whoa shit and you're backing up and you you, you know you slam on the ground and you're either they're not going to be expecting you to be on the ground so if they come and chase you you're you, you know you got an easy kill right there the gunplay guys you know it, it, it feels good I, I, I have nothing to compare it to but it doesn't feel like battlefield one it doesn't feel as like i don't know stiff in a way it's really generally really fun the the uh, time to kill is really good, although maybe lowering it a smidgen would be cool too, but at the same time, that means that I could potentially die more, so I'm okay with it where it is right now. And so, aside from that, you know, there's a lot of things that we didn't get to try out yet, like the war stories and stuff like that, so... But as a whole, in the multiplayer, as of the beta, I was really impressed with it. You know, I was really impressed with how it went. And I really, I do, I do really want to play this game, and I'm really excited for it based on the fact that They've done more in this game, innovation-wise, to make you feel more immersed and in the world. Cause I, I, I have none of us have been in World War Two. Well, at least most of the players, like there, there could be occasional players that have been playing, and that still play video games that have been in World War Two. Um, I'm not gonna do the math on what age they would be, but you know, uh, most of us, a good, I'd say a good like 80%. I'll give you guys a soft 20. The people that might have been in the war, uh, most of us haven't been in, you know, in World War Two. But this game really makes you feel you really feel like you, you've been in World War Two. It's really nice. And it gives off this bad Battlefield Bad Company 2 vibe. And that's what's really got me like messed up, bro. It's really nice. I like the weapons they chose for each class type. I like everything about this game. Um, if I had to say one thing negative about it, like I said, it would be the connection. I really hope that, like, because EA has, and Battlefield has a tendency to have these problems at launch where their servers are completely broken for like a good two weeks. I would rather not see that this year. We see it kind of right now where it's very hard to get into a lot of games. They've acknowledged it over on Twitter. They've kind of fixed it up a little bit. I realized that uh, playing the Grand Operations game mode was an easier way to get into the lobbies um, because pretty much every Conquest lobby I saw was either full or hemorrhaging because every time I ever tried to get into one, it would kick me out. But if you guys are excited about Battlefield 5 or if you guys have anything that you guys thought was a problem in this game, make sure that you guys hit my comment section below because I love talking to you guys when it comes to this stuff. I kind of make this video so you guys can hear, uh, you know, my opinion on things and I can hear your opinion on things and we can kind of, you know, coexist and like, you know, hang out in a way. Um, but um, as well as that, if you guys like this video, make sure you guys leave a like down below so more people can see it. We can get more conversations going and stuff like that. Maybe we can even find people that we want to uh, like play with. If you guys want to play Battlefield 5 with me tonight, man, just message me. I'm pretty much playing until 2K drops. Um, so if you guys, I'll put my PSN and my Xbox uh, gamer tag down below. Also, if you guys haven't clicked that sub button, and you guys are excited about Battlefield 5, make sure that you guys go come in and you guys click that sub button because I'm going to be playing a lot of 2K. But as soon as this game drops, I'll be definitely grinding this game a bit. And uh, I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty excited about it, guys. I know it feels like I'm rambling at this point in time, but I think they did a great job. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. We gon' pull up with them sticks and hop out with them choppers Walking out the tin and blue Balenciaga